Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toledo, located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2018 Toyota Tundra Platinum. Now the most notable features on this Platinum is its parking sensors. You also have your heated and cooled front seats and your blind spot monitoring. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2018 Toyota Tundra Platinum. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Platinum is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps. And then if we take a closer look just over on the side, you'll find your 20 inch aluminum alloy wheels. You have your running boards. Up top you're going to see your chrome accents with your power folding mirrors, heated mirrors. And you also have the integrated signal lamps on the inside of the mirror with your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now with that indicator it will actually light up just learning that there is another vehicle right beside you. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is red. Now taking a closer look just at the front dash as well as the front seats you have your black interior with your power driver seat with lumbar support. Over on the left hand side you're going to see your power tilt telescopic steering wheel. Sorry about that. You have your mirror controls, power folding mirror button, along with your automatic high beams and your open and close for the power rear window. Seat memory controls, along with your window locks, power locks, and window controls. Now, a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your volume control, seek function mode select, Bluetooth, lane departure alert, cruise control, and taking a closer look now at the multi-informational display, you'll see a couple of different features on here. So if we actually scroll through it here, you'll be able to see your digital speedometer with the distance to empty. As you can see, you have your fuel economy on here. You can go through your compass, audio, lane departure alert, tire pressure monitoring, trailer brake, messages, and your settings menu with your lane departure alert, pre-collision system, blind spot monitoring on and off, as well as your rear cross traffic alert and a couple of other additional features. Now if you take a look just on the right hand side here you're going to see your parking sensors on and off, traction control on and off, as well as your tow haul and trailer brake. Taking a look at the center dash as well as the touch panel display you'll see a couple of different features on here so if you go inside this uh, apps menu you have your navigation, audio phone, as well as a couple of other additional features. You have the XM satellite radio on here, dual zone climate control settings with your hazard lights, 4x4 select, and you'll have your heated and cooled front seat controls for your driver and passenger just located in the center here with three different settings depending on how hot or how cool you'd like it. USB and auxiliary input with your power outlet located down below matted to an automatic transmission and if you take a closer look up top here you're going to see your auto dimming rear view mirror with integrated garage door opener and digital compass and your open and closed as well as the tilt up and down feature for the power moonroof with the sunglass case holder. Now taking a closer look just at the backup camera as you can see you have those nice guiding lines in there making things much easier for you when you back into a stall. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo bed as well as your tailgate. Now, taking a look at the rear bumper, you're going to see your parking sensors just located right across. And then on the back of the tailgate, you have the backup camera as well as the lock for it as well. You have the connectors for the towing located in the center, spare tire located underneath. And then if we take a closer look just at the rear cargo bed, as you can see, you do have the carbon cover in the back, or I should say the hard tonneau cover. Which is nice because in the event that you have any items that you want to place in the back of the bed here, you don't have to necessarily fear them getting wet. You also have the bed rail system in there. So with the cleats that you see on either side there, place you can place them on one side of the bed rail system or take them out altogether, just depending on what your needs are for. Over on the left, right, front, and back side, you're going to see a couple of areas where you can tie down some loose cargo, just so it's not shifting around in the back of your bed, just while you're driving. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.